Hey everybody, it's Mike, Rocky Ridge. These are uh, Lila's roller pigeons. Birmingham rollers, they've been up for about 15 minutes. And you can see they're getting, getting a lot, uh, really strong now. <clears throat> we did lose one on a real windy day and um, just got blown off when it was inexperienced and um, hasn't, hasn't showed up back. That was about a week ago, so I doubt it's gonna come back. But um, these, they're doing really well. Uh, they usually fly about 20, 25 minutes. Uh, one day they flew for 45 minutes. And uh, so today what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna show my Rhode Island Red chickens and the, uh, the new chicken loft that I built for them. And um, I have my race team here all set up with the truck. And um, I'm gonna take them out on their first toss probably tomorrow morning, which is gonna be a six mile toss. And uh, I think they can handle that no problem because They've been ranging for yeah, any, anywhere from 35 to 45 minutes before they come home. So six miles ought to be nothing for them. Uh, you can see some of them want to fly because they see the, the rollers up in the air. But I've been flying them every other day. Um, I think I'm taking a little different approach this year because um, you don't want to stress out young birds. They're susceptible to every kind of sickness imaginable when they're young birds so I'm not going to stress them out I'm just, just going to go every other day and uh, make sure they get plenty to eat on the off days and uh, so anyway see how it goes you know but I'll do I'll show the uh, the release tomorrow uh, for the first toss one of them flies now there's no uh, there's no stragglers they're all old enough they're all doing great so. I can show some of the other the other birds I've been putting a lot of young birds in this loft over here right over here these guys uh, all the ones with color are 2023s that are very young a few in here and these are all going to be for sale these are all um, good racing pigeons very good the black eagles are from my best best of my best and the pure whites are uh, 2022s these are all hens I had to take the cock 2022s out of here because they were picking on the young ones and so they're all in the stock loft probably another eight or ten or in the dog house that uh, that are just learning how to eat and drink on their own before they come out here anyway here's the chickens it seemed like uh, just a week or so I got them but been longer than that you can see they're really growing they got two roosters and 26 hens so that turned out very well and uh, my aura is uh, she's shedding right now she's looking real good good girl I'll show some pictures of uh, when I was building the chicken coop and then I'll show the the finished product they, these guys are just about ready to go into it well they're ready but I, I wasn't quite ready so here it is So you can see it's uh, still quite a mess here, but 
on the back side of uh, this old garage here. We built a, uh, a lean-to, and this is for the chickens. So you come in here, you got a nice, uh, nice little hallway where we can keep all the supplies and different things that you need for chickens. And uh, we'll put a put a sink in, and this is where you pick the eggs right here. What you do is you open this up. And uh, that's where all the eggs will be, right in there. So we pick all the eggs, and then on the other side, it took me a long, long time to find that in the store. This is the hen house, and So it's about eight feet by 16 feet. It should house those uh, chickens quite well. So I put sand on the floor yesterday. There's a, it's a concrete floor underneath. And then this here is, um, you know, I'm gonna put some straw in there, but they're not ready to lay until uh, about another month, month and a half. But um, it should be pretty pretty nice. So the water is going to go right there. I can adjust the height of the water for the different age of the chickens. I got it pretty high right now. And then the feeder is going to go right there. So um, if, if certain days I don't want to get my shoes dirty, I, I got the water and the feed right, right at the opening here. And I can, um, I can uh, take care of them. So we got plenty of ventilation. This is all wire wire up there this is plexiglass right here and this is like a translucent panel to bring in some more light on this side so uh, yeah so anyway it's looking beautiful in here and then out here just got to do some painting and uh, you know get it looking nice and some landscaping got a lot of cleanup to do here and some landscaping but you know how it goes one thing at a time so anyway let's check out them pigeons again well, it looks like they're coming down all right so i'm going to go get the chickens and bring them into their new coop and see if they're nice and comfortable in there and uh see what they look like all right, so I got the chickens in. It's always fun catching all these chickens. But uh, they're kind of quiet right now. They're checking things out. I think I got plenty of room in here for this amount of chickens. But um, I'll probably put a, a little, little fenced in area outside, maybe cut a hole and uh, fence in an area. I got a lot of landscaping to do out there kind of drops off right there I had to bring in a lot of fill to put this concrete floor because I like the um, I like it to be nice and high and dry that way um, you never have any moisture problem in here well, it looks like they found the uh, found the chicken feeder which is good I forgot to mention to put in uh, some electrical um, those are 25 watt light bulbs and Sometimes um, in the winter time you leave those on all night long that way the chickens keep laying eggs but um, I also have electrical out here for this hallway and a plug way down the end and outlet right here so we're all wired up and ready to go this just makes life a lot easier now taking care of the chickens, my daughter could come out here and pick the eggs or anybody. You don't have to go inside here and get your feet all, all dirty. Because with the pigeons, I don't like to cross-contaminate. So it's either I had the, uh, the eggs accessible from the outside or I'd have to change my shoes and go in and pick the eggs. Um, but I have seven, I think seven nest, nest boxes, which is supposed to be sufficient 
for like 35 birds and I only got um, 26 so plenty of nest boxes I'll leave the uh, I'll leave this up for now and probably about August 1st I'll put it down put some hay in the nest and um, see what they do but, but just thought I'd take a minute to show my uh, my new addition to to Rocky Ridge loft now we got Rocky Ridge coop and pretty soon we'll get some Rocky Ridge eggs. All right guys, have fun in your new house. Please comment, subscribe, thumbs up if you like the videos. Take care.